The question of religious liberty is one that burns foremost within the minds and hearts and souls of Ukrainian Catholics. Many parents and grandparents of people had been in prison because the Ukrainian Catholic Church was underground. Many people remember the horrors of their family members being hauled off, arrested, having to serve time in Siberia just because they wanted to be Ukrainian Catholics. This is a situation that cannot be allowed to repeat itself. At the Ukrainian Catholic University, under the direction of Bishop Boris Guzyak, he put together a whole center for church history where he recorded and kept the stories of people who were prisoners of faith, where he gathered artifacts and have them on display. It's my hope that we could have a display here in our country of these artifacts, have their stories be told, have the videos of their eyewitnesses come forward as a testimony to what these people endured. You know, in 1945, all of the bishops of the Ukrainian Catholic Church were arrested. In 1946, there was an illegal synod where the entire Ukrainian Catholic Church was liquidated despite the fact that not one of our Ukrainian Catholic bishops were present at that synod. This history, this way of dealing with people is something that we remember well and is something that we do not want to repeat. In fact, you know, the council of all Ukrainian churches, including non-Christian churches, has said repeatedly that we have a good life in Ukraine today. They've said repeatedly that we tolerate all religions. And so what's the problem? Why are outside forces meddling in modern-day Ukraine?